Researchers and clinicians at Imperial have successfully used kisbeptin to stimulate ovulation in women at risk of developing complications during IVF. I met with Hannah, a patient who received the treatment, to find out how it's changed her life. My name's Hannah Donington, I'm 31. I'm from Oxfordshire. We've been to the fertility clinic in Oxford and started the first stages down the route of investigation. It hadn't worked and I was rather desperate. We weren't suitable candidates for IVF on the NHS in Oxfordshire because I have a stepson and I got desperate really so I googled it and found the Kispeptin trial. So we completed the first Kispeptin study uh, in 2013 and published this last year and we were able to show for the first time that Kispeptin could stimulate egg maturation and importantly result in the birth of healthy babies. We chose patients specifically that would be at high risk of the life-threatening complication called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome which can happen with IVF treatment. And we know what the cause is, it's the drugs that we use in IVF treatment very potently stimulate egg maturation and this can cause this life-threatening condition. The process involved going down to Hammersmith, talking to the doctors, Ali the lead clinician, uh, he was great, so he talked us through the stages of um, IVF and why they were doing the trial and what we would be required to do at what stage and, and how much commitment was required. We had to attend the clinic in Hammersmith it was every other day for a short while, there were lots of blood tests, lots of scans, initially to find out whether we were, were suitable candidates for the trial, which we were, which is good, and from there on we actually started the IVF treatment. The trial involved using standard IVF treatment to stimulate um, the patient's eggs to mature, but rather than using HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone which acts very powerfully and for too long, we use cuspeptin, which is a naturally occurring hormone, to stimulate uh, egg maturation, and this did so very effectively and very safely. I can't tell you how excited I was when I found out I was pregnant. It's something that we'd waited for for so long. We'd been trying naturally for two years and hadn't conceived. We'd been through the initial stages of fertility treatment elsewhere, and it hadn't worked for us. And then we'd gone on the trial, and pretty much within the space of four months, we'd gone through the entire process, and there was this tiny little heartbeat on the screen. It's the most exciting thing, and it's been just brilliant, brilliant. Cuspeptin works uniquely through the hypothalamus, which is an area of the brain, and will stimulate a patient's endogenous uh, reproductive hormones. And so it has the benefit compared to current treatments, which act directly on the ovary, of being not able to overstimulate the ovaries because it's acting via the patient's own endogenous hormones. We've been very excited by the results as we've been able to show very high pregnancy rates. So we had 77% clinical pregnancy rates at six weeks and 62% life birth rate, which is very good for IVF treatments. But in that group with HCG, for example, we would expect an ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome rate, which can be life-threatening, of about 30%. And in fact, for, mar for moderate and severe ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, there was none in the Cuspeptin group. I love being a mum. It's the best thing I've ever done. Since Izzy has arrived, nothing else matters. She's my world. I, I love her to bits. She's brilliant. When we started, which is not many years ago now, we had no idea that cuspeptin would work. It was a theory, and very quickly in the last few years, we've been able to take this into patients and show very promising results in, the, in firstly normal patients and now in a high-risk group. So we're very excited by the data, and if our stu further studies show in a larger group of patients that this continues to be a promising approach, we would see cuspeptin being able to translate into the clinic very rapidly. It's made Robert and I very happy and I couldn't have done it without them. I'm just delighted and so thankful.